Hi doctor, I have this case ready to discuss um, with the goal of correcting the deep bite here and creating a space for um, a potential implant. So uh, whenever we're moving molars, we want to isolate the molar movement from any other tooth movement because we always need to maintain anchorage. Um, so in this case, the premolars are being the anchor teeth for uh, number 15 to tip um, and it's kind of tipping and translating to the distal. So um, you, we could delay some of these other attachments until this movement is done. Um, if you and the patient don't mind, then we can just place them all at once. Um, and then the movement on just uh, 15 and the lower anterior are going to start first. Um, so the lower anterior movements are intrusion, um, which are generally movements that are more resistant from the bone, but can occur um, easily and well if we have good retention attachments, which we do as well. So I would go one week per aligner, or if the patient's using a munchie really, really well, you could do five days per aligner um, to start this initial phase of movement. And I always move the molar first because then once this tooth gets into a better position, and I really over-treated it because um, these molar teeth are multi-rooted teeth, they can lag behind slightly. Um, so after you get to maybe a liner 15, 16, 17, and you're more content with this space, then um, the implant can go in. And while the implant's healing, then the rest of these movements um, can be executed. And the implant going in here is only going to help stimulate the movements of these premolars. Um, it really shouldn't affect the upper anterior in any positive way, because it's just too far away from each other, uh, like geographically in the mouth, so to speak, but um, the implant placement is not going to negatively impact the rest of the movement of the teeth, and moving the teeth with aligners is not going to delay the integration of the implant in any way. So that way, hopefully, you get to the end of the case and the implant only has a little bit longer to heal, if that, and then you're ready to place the implant crown and put a retainer on everything else. So the other changes that I made was to eliminate molar movement that wasn't going to predictably happen. Um, these molar movements, even with attachments, and these molars don't even have attachments, is not anything that we can realistically expect to happen. Also, lower anterior intrusion typically doesn't happen unless you have very good retention attachments like these. Um, trying to move the premolars in a rotational or root torque type of way while trying to intrude is not something that's going to work out very well either. Um, so uh, what I have planned is um, bite ramps across the upper anterior to prevent molar passive intrusion as treatment goes along. The right side molars, those look like they're in a fine position right now, and so no need to be moving those. And then because this is a deep bite case, I want to plan for a sufficient amount of overjet and um, at the end of the case because we know that the intrusion is going to lag behind. Could you get away without any lower IPR? Probably so, um, but it's just going to be a lot easier with adding some slight lower IPR. You're going to make sure that you're not going to fall short of the goal of creating overjet and reduce some of the black triangles because these teeth are going do already exhibit a triangular uh, shape. One thing that I noticed is that some of these premolar relationships could be improved. Now, are they going to be perfect and perfect canine guidance? No, because this patient has a slightly class three tendency on the, le the left side. But we could increase some of the buccal inclinations to create just some better um, cusp to fossa relationships. And when we do that, I have more of an opportunity to do some tip, um, expansion by tipping of the canines, and then that can allow for the IPR to then be reduced. So just a little bit of way to improve that situation. Um, and then this would be the final ClinCheck that I would recommend approving. Let me know if you have any other questions.